I just got this uh, sprayer in the mail to be able to share with you my thoughts. I've actually been looking for a new electric sprayer for some furniture rehab we've been doing, so it's perfect timing. So let's unbox this and show you everything that's included with this. So inside the box, it's all packaged pretty tightly. Just gonna pull it out. There are a bunch of things, some instructions, Put those out of the way there is the main sprayer which is right here with the spray bottle mechanism uh, it comes with some nozzles which I'll show you and then some filters which is really nice my other sprayer did not come with filters so this is the sprayer unit itself and I'll show you how it all put gets put together but basically you take the sprayer bottle which you can unscrew the bottom when you're ready to fill it up and then all you do is put a filter on the top. Grab one out of the bag, Let's see how these work. And these filters have like this mesh screen. So when you're filling it with paint, any sort of clumps or imperfections don't get into the sprayer, which is really important. You just put it here and they're disposable so you could buy replacements. And then you just run your paint through it. And then on the side of the bottle, there's a line it goes up to 1300 milliliters in size. So it's actually a decent sized bottle. My other sprayer is quite a bit smaller. Um, so that will help when you're doing big projects. Uh, the last big project I did with the spray gun was repainting the fence. So having a bigger bottle is super helpful. So once you're done filling it up, you'll just attach it like this. And then you're able to pop this right on just like this. And there's an unlock button at the top that you'll depress to pop it all the way in and now it's in so to use it you're going to pull this trigger and it's going to be able to spray and if you want to adjust um, how much spray is coming out you can use this little dial which has a plus minus next to it and then on the tip this is where you adjust the angle of your spray if you want vertical or horizontal and the nice thing about these is they're super easy to clean you just take the cap off and you're able to basically take this apart and clean it out oops and on this one this is a metal tip which is super nice my other sprayer was a plastic tip um, which just gets kind of degraded over time so the metal tip is super handy um, I really like that at options there just pop it out so I can put it back together quickly. Um, and then it just goes back together really easily. So if you forget, you can always refer back to this video after you buy it. So you just screw it back in place. And then what I love about this too is it has some extra additions. It has a cleaning brush, which allows you to clean out these tips really easily. And then it has four different size tips, uh, the one that's in there and then three here. And they all have different size holes, which uh, dictates how much paint comes out. So that's really handy as well. And then here's a little uh, paint funnel. Um, plus they give you a nice little pin. So if you do a paint clogging up a tip, you could just push it out with the little pin. What I highly suggest is the moment you're done painting, you go through and clean all this out because while the paint's still wet, it's much easier to clean these tips out um, from my experience than if you let it dry or sit for days, then try to get it, it's gonna be a real big pain. Um, but overall, this is a great kit and it's super high quality. And if you're looking for something like this, I highly suggest checking it out. So I filled this with water just for a demonstration. So there's three different modes you could set. So right now it's on horizontal mode, which is the top. If I turn this dial here, it will be on center. If I turn it all the way, it'll be on vertical. So I'll show you what those look like. So this is horizontal, and I can increase or decrease the flow again by the plus and minus. So I could turn it to do center, or I could turn it again to do a horizontal or vertical. So that is a really nice spray pattern and it's really easy to use.